As a golf coach, we need to be aware that the wrists are very important throughout the whole golf swing and really the whole golf game because we will use the wrists in pretty much every stroke from the driver down through the irons into the wedges and occasionally a little bit of wrist action even in putting. However, very rarely do I ever talk to a client or a golfer about improving or sorry, increasing their wrist hinge. Very often golfers use too much wrist hinge quite naturally and actually as a golf coach we're trying to remove that wrist hinge and sometimes the golfer will use too much wrist at certain times. Often golfers get wristy when they're cold or they're not warmed up. So you might get to the first tee, you've not had a chance to hit some balls on the driving range, you've run straight to the first tee, you stand over the golf ball and you think well my back's a bit tight, I'm not really warmed up, I don't really feel like I can turn. So it ends up just being a bit of a wristy flicky action. If that's you and you're standing there flicking your wrist because your back's hurting, you need to change your process and warm up a little bit better. Other times golfers get wristy, maybe when they get to the short game, they get a wedge. They think, oh, I just need a little lifty shot here, just knock it over that bunker. And because we don't need a big turn, because we don't need the power, the golf swing ends up becoming a, a wristy flick to flick it over the bunker. And again, that's not ideal. And probably the worst place to use your wrist is putting. If I've just got a little six footer, I just need to hold this putt to win the match, I get a bit nervous, suddenly my wrists get involved and I get too flicky. So what's going to be the replacement for being too wristy? What we actually want to focus on is making sure the body is turning. In all those scenarios, if we turn the body better, the wrist can do a more passive job. So if when we get to that first tee and the body's a bit cold and we stand there and think, well, I'll just flick my wrist on it, we don't want to do that. We want to lay a club over the shoulders. We want to feel like we can turn back, get the body warmed up, turn through, get the body warmed up. Once we can get the body back and through turning, then we can start to hit the ball a little bit better using less wrists. If when we're hitting that chip shot and we just need to hit a little dinky shot over a bunker, if we just flick the wrists, it might not be ideal. If we can turn the body, we'll appreciate the power can come from the body and we can lift the ball over the bunker without using the wrist too much. And even in that little putting action that we talked about, that little six footer, if we rock the shoulders correctly, that stops us getting too wristy. If we don't use the shoulders, all the energy and power has to come from the wrists and that's when we can cause some miss hits and some misdirectional putts. So to stop the wrist doing too much work, make sure the body's doing plenty. If you feel you're too wristy, get the body turning, keep the wrist nice and passive and less wrists in your golf swing and your whole golf game should help improve your scores.